23. The Henry's Law constant for CO2 is 3.4 times 10 to the negative second molarity per atm at 25 degrees Celsius. Assuming ideal solution behavior, what pressure of carbon dioxide is needed to maintain a CO2 concentration of 0.10 molarity in a can of lemon lime soda? Okay, so seems like we're setting up a math problem here. They gave us a Henry's Law constant, 3.4 times 10 to the negative 2. Um, they're asking for what is the pressure of carbon dioxide. So I'm looking for the pressure of CO2, right? And they did tell us that we had a CO2 concentration of 0 0.10 molarity. Now just know that uh, concentration is the uh, another way to saying molarity. So it checks out. Concentration, molarity, capital M, they all go together. So especially if they're asking for a Henry's Law constant, or they're, they're giving you a Henry's Law constant, we will use the Henry's Law formula, which is this right here. CG equals K times BG. Pretty, pretty simple, right? Now, the C, capital C, stands for the concentration. And the G just stands for the gas. So we're only dealing with gases here. Uh, Henry, Henry's law constant is specific for gases. So this is concentration of the gas. The K value is the Henry's law constant. So Henry's law constant. And the P stands for the pressure of the gas. So PG, pressure of the gas. So they did tell us that we had a concentration of 0 0.10 molarity. So we know that. And they gave us a Henry's law constant of uh, 3.4 times 10 to the negative second, molarity per atm. So they're just asking for what is the pressure? Well, we don't know what this is, so we'll label it as x. Now we're ready to solve. 0 0.10 equals the Henry's Law constant, which is 3.4 times 10 to the negative second times uh, x. And just before you start plugging in, just make sure that you have your correct units. But molarity goes with molarity in the Henry's Law constant. ATM is going to come out with the pressure, ATM. So we're good here. And now, just solve. Right? We want to solve for x. So this is over 3.4 times 10 to the negative second. 10 to the negative second. And we get x equals... Drum roll, please. 0.1 divided by 3.4 times 10 to the, I love using the second comma button, that's times 10 to the. If you use that, the calci will always understand uh, that you're using scientific notation, so you don't need parentheses anymore. And I get 2.94. Uh, looks like two sig figs here, so 2.9. And just like we said, the Henry's Law constant is an ATM. One of the units is ATM. So this will be the final answer. So what would be that pressure? 2.9 ATM. Let's color it in sky blue. And call it a video. Okie dokie. What'd you think? I hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. Thanks for coming to the channel. Uh, we love helping you guys out. My brother and I, we appreciate you so very much. And we really hope that these videos help you in your classes. We got tons of videos out there for tons of topics that you may be going through in your classes. We got physics, math, and obviously chem videos. So check the channel out. All right. You guys rock. Good luck on your tests and quizzes. And I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.